I just get three bits of paper, screw them up into a ball. Make that super tight. I mean, get the ball, put that in the water, get it all wet, and then start squeezing. When it starts feeling firm and sticking together, get it in the flour. Plain flour. And then get back in the water, get a bit of water on there. Start squeezing it. Work that flour in. Keep dabbing it, flour water. Just smooth it all out, and there's your ball. You can leave it to dry all night. Okay, so this one's been drying for about 24 hours now, and it's rock solid, as you can hear. So now, we're gonna start sanding it, sand down those edges, so use a harder sandpaper here to get down the large bits. There's just a few bits on there. Now you've gotta be really gentle with this. Remember, it is only paper. So when you've got rid of all the rough edges, pretty much all of them, so when it feels smooth all over, move down to a finer grade of sandpaper. This is it so far, completely smoothed out. Now I'm going to put some polish on it.
just see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't disintegrate. I think that's the best I'm going to get. Just remember, it's not wood. It will just start to disintegrate. I can't make it solid without a hydraulic press or something. This is it at the end. So there's some shininess. But all of this, you can see all the texture, but it's just completely smooth. The whole thing. And I think that's the best I'm going to get. Because remember, it's not wood. Just like the moon. Okay, so that was my attempt at making a solid, polished paper ball. It took three pieces of paper, crammed together with water, a bit of flour to bind it, left to dry for 24 hours, sanded and polished, and that's the best I can get. So I don't think I'm gonna get any better than that. At least not without a ton of effort. But anyway, thanks for watching, and see you later.